What's going on, everybody? Happy 4th of July. Hopefully, you all get to spend some time with family, friends. Maybe get to watch or shoot off some fireworks today, depending on if it's legal in your area. This is really the first PSA um, reveal that is based off using the microscope. CBC had five cards in this, and they'll be mailed off to him Tuesday. So make sure you tune to his channel because the grades he got were really good, too. Okay. Um, keeping it out in mind, I pretty much off the scope called all but one card where I thought it would grade at, which is actually pretty good offhand. I'm not saying like I'm no expert or anything like that onto it, but to see the difference that it makes was well worth the investment. This card here is already sold, just so everybody knows. April bought this earlier, but I still need to get a video out onto it. So to a prism, eight. Now, I was kind of worried on to this one to begin with. I thought it had a chance at a 9 I was calling it at. But it did come back at 8. The centering is a little bit off onto it. Probably what got me top and bottom, left and right mostly. But I'm sure there's a little divot right here. And there was something else on to him. I remember the divot up here. But I can't remember what else there was on to this. But... Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. Uh, let me fix the camera just a tad bit here because I was kind of crooked a little bit. All right. Up next, a little bit of vintage action. I bought a set. I won a set of this in a Raz a while back. Ozzy Smith rookie, PSA 6. And as I said, I thought this was going to come back a 6. Had a possibility of a 7, low of being a 5. Six on to it. I think these are around 120, 130 bucks. Not bad overall. At the time frame I mailed this in, they were a lot more. Now, as you can tell, the coloring is not real white onto this. I figured that was what was going to get me the most onto. I mean, top and bottom centering was off, and then you could really see left and right in the back, which is not too big with PSA. But pretty cool card for Ozzy Smith overall. I'm really happy with it. I know somebody's going to want this. And they'll probably send me a message. But we'll see if he, if he sends it. If not, I'm probably going to hold on to it. All right, up next, a nine. This is the uh, Tiger Stripe Edwards that I pulled out of a box a while back from Prism Draft Picks. I noticed on the bottom right corner we had a little bit of whiting. And I figured it would come back a nine. It's still over a $200 card. And I just didn't want to have to put this on eBay and somebody say, oh, there's whiting on the corner. It's not going to mint. Well, it did. So didn't have much invested into this. So I figured what the heck. Sound off to be great. Nice looking card of Edwards. I still believe he should have won rookie of the year. But Tiger striped it. Everybody remembers this. I bought this off of eBay. Took me a while to find one I like. This is with coating on. And I'm going to tell you now, with coating, these are very, very hard grades to come out. To get a 9 is very good onto it with coating. Trying to get it to where... There we go. And the reason why I like this card is because there's not many of them out there with the 45 on it when he came back to the Bulls. So I wanted to pick one up before anything crazy started happening out there. You can find 10s without coating. With coating is kind of hard. But I'm sure if I'd have peeled the coating, I might have came close. Centering was off left to right for sure onto this a little bit. But looked pretty good overall, and I'm happy with the 9, especially with the purple back on this. It's real hard with edging and corners to get a 10. But that'll go with my Jordans. Very happy with that. I know. You guys are all like, did he get any 10s? I did. I think they're actually all the rest of them are 10s. Yep. And I didn't put them in any kind of order. As you can see, it went 8 to 6. Prism Joe Burrow rookie, 10. So I hit one Herbert and one Burrow, the 10. I already got rid of the Herbert. This will probably be a show pickup for somebody out here. But very, very hard to get 10s on Prism this year. Very hard. Pop levels are going to be a little bit lower than normal, but... Happy with it. Happy, happy. This, I'm happy with the grade, but it's dropped so much in value. These used to be like 150 bucks or something. This is the uh, Optic Hollow, the Rookies, Tua. Actually, they're, all the Rookies are hollow. But um, 
Mm, try not to sneeze there. But they dropped. They're like 55 bucks now. So I'll probably hold this for a while. This is one of those disadvantages of when you send something into PSA, it could drop in price. I mean, the burrows have dropped down about 200 bucks. I think they're about four to 500 now. Last up, one Nissan and Raz for, I want to say it was like 20 bucks at two spots. TJ Watt, Sunday ticket 10. Gold being out of 10, I thought. Oh, there it is. Yep, 9 out of 10 right there. I was like, I know it's numbered. 9 out of 10. All that I can do is find a raw card sold at 150 on this. So I'm guessing probably four or 500 probably for that card. I don't know offhand. Somewhere around there. But nice little card to get back as well. Overall, very happy with the submission. I mean, for these were originally 50 bucks a card. We were trying to slam as much as we could in at the end before prices went up. <clears throat> So we got these out. Like I said, CBC got some nice ones too back in. Take a look. Make sure you guys check out his channel. Um, I'll put a link in the description just so if you guys don't have it already. I know he's kind of hard to find. Um, he did really well on to it. Uh, he had some Burrow, Herbert, Smrant, Bichette. Just looking. Yeah, those were his there. So I'm getting ready to mail those out to him Tuesday. So he should have them by Friday. He'll probably do a reveal with them. But overall, very happy with this. I'm glad to get my stuff back in from PSA. With that being said, regulars pretty much getting ready to be closed out too with their submissions because this was towards the end before they closed out. So pretty cool. Um, like I said, the two is sold. Uh, Ozzy is probably going to be peace or hold for a while unless uh, one person asked me about it a while ago. He sends me an email. Edwards Tiger Stripe probably go up for sale. Jordan's PC Burrow will probably be sold and probably probably think about selling TJ Watt too. No in dire hurry trying to sell them and these aren't sleeved yet, so gotta get that done yet. All right, everybody, appreciate you guys watching the reveal or results. This was a regular submission. It was logged in with a complete through date of May eighth. So if you check out their complete through dates, I think they say they're in March. They're in May. It, the Marches are because people probably sent in 100 cards at regular price and stuff. A lot of the bulk submitters and stuff. So if you guys have stuff out there, it should be popping. should be getting ready to pop. All right. You guys take care. I got an SGC reveal for tomorrow. You're going to be shocked. See you all later.